Today we're continuing our Hawaiian vegan barbecue plate series and no barbecue plate is complete without your meat, vegan meat that is. And today I'm going to show you how to make delicious teriyaki soy curls. <laughs> Soy curls are very easy to make and if done right, are very delicious. We're going to start by rehydrating our soy curls with water and veggie broth. Let that sit for a few minutes. While the soy curls are rehydrating, we're going to go ahead and make our teriyaki sauce. This is actually my knockoff version of Joe Mama's secret teriyaki sauce. Yes, that's my little brother, Big Joe, shout out. We're going to take an onion, garlic, and ginger and we're going to blend it down in a separate bowl Take your soy sauce, maple syrup. You can also use brown sugar or white sugar. And we're also going to add in some sesame seed oil and stir that together. Something else you can add to this mix is red chili flakes or red chili sauce for a kick. That is optional. Stir it all together. Then I want you to heat up your pan and take that onion mixture and pour it into your hot pan. Saute that for about a minute or so and then add in your soy sauce mixture. Bring it to a boil and then add in your cornstarch paste which is just cornstarch and water mixed together and then add it into your teriyaki sauce. Bring it back to a boil, and here you'll see that it has thickened up very nicely. Turn off the heat right away, and then add in your toasted sesame seeds, and go ahead and mix that all together. Take that off the heat. Now let's go back to our soy curls. I have already drained the vegetable broth out of the bowl. You want to make sure that you squeeze out any extra liquid from the soy curls and strain it. This is very important. Please don't skip that step. I've tossed the soy curls in cornstarch so that it's ready for pan frying and this will help it to get nice and crispy. Okay, now this part is going to go very, very fast. I'm going to heat up my pan with some oil. On the side, I have a bed of chopped cabbage, which is where I'm going to place all the teriyaki soy curls. I also have the teriyaki sauce that we just made and a small empty dish. Carefully place your soy curls into the hot pan and saute it on all sides until they get golden brown and crispy. Immediately remove it from the heat and toss it in the teriyaki sauce and then lay it on top of the bed of chopped cabbage. Repeat the process until all of the soy curls are completely fried and covered in yummy teriyaki sauce. While I finish up these soy curls, I want to share with you a short devotional thought. In Hawaii, the word aloha means a lot more than just hello and goodbye. It also means love. Hawaii is called the aloha state and Hawaiians show aloha to one another. Things can be done in the spirit of aloha. Literally translated, aloha means breath of God be upon you. It's kind of like saying may God bless you. It means you do something kind without expecting something in return. So I want to leave with you this short inspirational message so that you remember as we share this delicious yummy Hawaiian vegan barbecue plate with you that you will do unto others without expecting anything in return. That is the true spirit of aloha and that might I add is the true spirit of Christ. Once that is done, garnish it with chopped green onions and there you have it. Delicious teriyaki soy curls. These, I promise you, will not disappoint. Add it to the side of Ofa's mac salad and some rice and you got yourself a delicious Hawaiian vegan barbecue plate. Thanks guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. We upload new vegan recipes every month. And remember, no matter where you are on this journey, there's always room for you on our table right here at Polly Vegan Kitchen.